Hi everyone and welcome to the virtual back to school night for History 17 and History 18. So my name is Mark Stafford and yeah that's right this is two courses. This is two MPC courses. The first one is History 17 which is US History to 1877. We're basically going to make it through the Civil War and into Reconstruction. Then next semester your students will be taking a second MPC history course, History 18, which will cover from the Civil War to present. I don't think there's been very many times in my career when history has seemed more important than it does right now. History provides a context, a way for us to better understand and better see the present. And I think that your students will find as we study U.S. history, they're going to get a better understanding of what questions they have about where we are today and where we should be moving in the future. So let's start with some orientation uh, issues. This is a class unlike almost any other class on campus because it's actually an MPC course being taught on a high school campus or this year being taught virtually from a high school campus. Uh, what that means is your student is taking an MPC course. They are a college student while being enrolled in high school. That's why it's called a dual enrollment course. So every student who passes this class with a, with a grade letter of C or better will earn credit for History 17 and History 18 from MPC. That's transferable credit for a C or better in this class. It also means if they don't do well, it's going to end up on their permanent MPC transcript and we'll follow them if they end up using that MPC transcript in the future. So I really encourage students uh, to take this class seriously. Uh, the grade that shows up on their MPC transcript and shows up on their Karma High School transcript will follow them as a transfer student from MPC if they ever use any MPC transcript in the future. One thing that is different about taking a college course is that there are federal provisions that, that make it a little bit more difficult for me as their college teacher to be talking directly to you, their parent, about their performance and their progress in the course. If you have questions or concerns about how they're doing in the class, please talk to them. If you're concerned that, that you're, you're not getting good enough information from them, then we can set up a meeting, but they must be present in order for me to talk about their progress with you. We do not use ARIES for this class because of those privacy issues, the federal privacy concerns. The student's grades will appear on Canvas. We will have a weekly schedule posted to Google Classroom but all grades and all work will be working through, since this is an MPC course, through the MPC learning management system called Canvas. Your students should have access to Canvas by now. All of our quizzes and assignments will be there. Okay, so now let me take a moment to walk you through some of our online resources and give you uh, a look at a typical week in class. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the online resources for History 17 and our online learning management systems. So first of all, every course at Carmel High School is required to have a Google Classroom page. At the top of the classwork section, uh, every class at Carmel High School will have a link to the weekly schedule. Now, you're not enrolled in this course as a parent, so you won't be able to find it here, but you should be able to find this same schedule linked to the ARIES page. Uh, so the History 17 ARIES gradebook will have a link next to it called the History 17 Weekly Schedule. Now remember, uh, you won't be able to access grades on ARIES because this is an MPC course and we will be keeping track of all our grades on Canvas. And that's something that you'll have to talk to your student about if you wanna see those grades. All right, but let's look at the weekly schedule. So this is what students will, will see each week and this is what you can ask them to see or you can go, like I said, to ARIES and see this for yourself. So this is a Google presentation. It's gonna open up and it's going to be labeled History 17 Weekly Schedule. It's got my name here, our Google Classroom code and our Remind code. Most kids have signed up for Remind as well. And then what you're gonna see is an archive of each week's schedules. So the most recent uh, week is gonna be at the top. Uh, I'm filming this on Thursday, September 3rd. So we are about to start class and I've got, you know, kind of a brief discussion, a description of what we're going to be talking about that you can see past weeks as well. We had classes canceled. So I've kind of changed those plans and moved them forward. Uh, we had, you know, another class canceled that day, but we've got an archive of all previous weeks, what we are doing and what the homework is. Okay, in addition to that, you can, as well as they can, access the daily assignment. So each day that students come to class, they're gonna log on and they're gonna open up another presentation, which is going to be our lesson for that day. 
Uh, this is something that's going to be useful if your student is unable to make it to class, to the class Zoom. They will still have access to this daily lesson and they can follow along and make sure that they're keeping track of everything that they need to keep track of for the day that they missed. All right, so this is today's lesson, September 3rd, um, which is the day that I'm filming this. We're going to start with a warm up talking about different levels of questions and current events. Uh, then I'm going to introduce the topic. Uh, we're going to compare colonial regions today. We're going to debrief a discussion board post that students were required to post uh, before we meet in class today. Uh, we're going to move on to, you know, testing some prior knowledge. Uh, we're going to do a Kahoot game where they're going to, you know, see how well they can distinguish colonial regions. And then they're going to have some independent work time. We're going to come back. So you can see task by task, we're going to go through. And at the end of these uh, lessons, I will always include due dates and assignments for that day. All right, so they should have a sense of what they need to do uh, as we are walking through the class together and also um, if they are for some reason unable to make it to class. So Canvas, Canvas is the learning management system that MPC uses and this being an MPC course, we are required to use it. It is our grade book for your students uh, class and it's also where we're gonna keep all of the information. It's where they're gonna do all their discussion boards. They're gonna do all of their um, uh, quizzes and tests and essays, all of that will take place on Canvas, not on Google Classroom. For this class, Google Classroom is simply a way for me to uh, get them their, their schedule and the most basic information. So let me give you a little look at uh, Canvas. Canvas is, I think, a great learning management system. It's going to be new to students, but it's pretty intuitive. So they will, uh, I think, get the hang of it quickly once they get it all set up. All right. So um, this is the teacher dashboard. Uh, we have uh, a different view for students. So this is what it's gonna look like to students. I'll let it switch, I'm running a little slow here, I apologize for that. But if we switch to a student view, you'll see that students are gonna come in and it's gonna be built by uh, module. Uh, and we're roughly gonna do a module, a new module every couple of weeks. Each unit of study is a new module. So they will see uh, week one. This is going to be, again, a, a way for them to see what we are doing for that week. Uh, it's going to be that same PowerPoint presentation that I linked, uh, you, that I showed you, uh, and that I have linked there. It's, it's just a screenshot of that. So this is kind of the topics for the week. Uh, and then underneath, if we get back, uh, you'll see that students will be able to see uh, all of the daily activities, all of the requirements. We have video lectures, we have practice quizzes, uh, we have um, discussions, as I said, once a week. So the typical week will involve students reading one chapter of the textbook. Uh, they will have one discussion to respond to and one quiz to take, right? Then there on top of that could be things that we're doing in class, but these are the only things that they'll be expected to be doing outside of our meeting time are this discussion board post and the chapter quiz. The discussion board post will always be due Wednesday uh, at midnight, so we can talk about it on Thursday in class, and the quiz will always be done, uh, required to be done by Friday at the end of the week. Okay. Well, that's about it, so thank you for watching my virtual back to school night video. If you have any further questions or wanna follow up with me on anything, feel free to reach out. My email is mstafford at carmelunified.org. Uh, I'm really looking forward to getting to know your students better and I hope someday that uh, we get to meet if we haven't already. All right, take care and again, reach out if you need anything or have any questions or concern. Thanks a lot.